Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint and welcome to this geography session called Minerals. In the Minerals topic, we shall deal about the mineral called coal. So coal, what do you know about coal? So without coal, we can't sustain our life. Yes or no? So coal is a fossil uh, fuel which is used in uh, thermal power plants, right? Which is powering us. So later some days, this is a rain, uh, non-renewable source of energy right it doesn't renew after some years yes or no so these fossil fuels may be over so we should use coal in a uh, sustainable way so that it will be uh, also available for the next generations right so let's know about the facts about coal first so what are the facts about coal coal generally has the largely it has carbon content it also has the other elements like hydrogen sulfur nitrogen and oxygen and coal generally it starts off with the plant matter generally after the plant matter is buried at the depths of water particularly it uh, there is a change of uh, form takes place particularly the metamorphosis and it is converted into coal which is useful for us right and next some more facts about coal it is also necessary for the production of iron and steel and coal mining and burning of coal will results in harmful damage to the environment and humans will also be affected by burning of coal when we burn coal it is a fossil fuel so it results in the warming of environment it results in global warming okay so soon we have to shift to renewable source of energy or particularly solar energy hydro energy and consuming lesser coal moving on to the extraction of coal coal is generally extracted from the earth either by surface mining or into the uh, deep earth mining so the surface mining is called as open cast mines we have open cast mines generally the mine is present near the surface itself it is very cheap and easily accessible and we also have the underground mining or under the earth mining it is also called as drift mining it is very harmful uh, the higher amount of gases are released which is harmful to the miners also okay and grades of coal next we shall see what are the grades of coal the lower grade of coal is peat next is lignite next is bituminous coal and the highest grade of coal is anthracite so these are the four basic grades of coal so let's deal about them in detail the first is so you can see peat lignite bituminous coal and anthracite higher the pressure or higher the number of years you get the higher grade coal that is anthracite the first is peat so peat is nothing but it is an organic humus matter which is present on the surface it has highest moisture content and it gives higher amount of smoke also okay and it has very less amount of carbon content around 40 to 55 percentage okay this is the first stage of transformation of plant matter okay it has very less carbon content okay it gives very less heat and more smoke and more ash and it has lot of moisture also and next is second uh, grade of coal is lignite and uh, generally we know uh, Neveli lignite corporation which is in tamil nadu right so lignite is a second grade of coal it has it is it has uh, intermediate uh, carbon content that is uh, 40 to 55 percentage of carbon and uh, it is also called as peat so in the peat it is the lowest grade of carbon content it has less than 40 percentage of carbon okay it has more impurities and more moisture in it it gives very less heat and more smoke as well as more ash also okay this is a very lowest grade of carbon content in the coal and the next grade of uh, coal is lignite it is an intermediate uh, stage of coal it is also called as brown coal it has 40 to 55 percentage of carbon in it somewhat less moisture than peat we know the Neveli lignite corporation right in tamil nadu so lignite is a type of or grade of coal okay the second grade of coal and it undergoes spontaneous combustion okay and it has somewhat higher moisture content than the sorry lesser than the peat next is the third grade of coal it is bituminous coal the third type of coal it is a very soft coal okay and it is mostly available and used coal it 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 derives its name from a liquid called bitumen bitumen and it has 40 to 80 percentage of carbon 
that means high, third highest carbon content in this crates of coal and it is moisture and volatile content is 15 to 40 percent less than the lignite and higher less than the more less than the peat okay and it is dense compact and it has usually black in color you can see the picture of bituminous coal generally it is used in laying of roads right and bituminous case uh, coal doesn't have traces of original vegetable material okay because it has uh, undergone metamorphosis for a lot of years and it is calorific value that means giving higher amount of heat is high due to high proportion of carbon content and low moisture it is used in production of coke and gas the fourth and highest grade of carbon content material is anthracite okay and it has best quality of coal it has 80 to 90 per 95 percentage of carbon in it and it is having very less moisture compared to peat lignite and the bituminous coal and it is semi meta it has semi metallic luster also you can see it is somewhat glowing in nature the highest quality coal is anthracite and regarding anthracite it ignites slowly and it gives very less heat and highly efficient and also gives very less smoke also and very less pollutants also it is generally found in india in jammu and kashmir and that too in very small quantities the highest used coal is bituminous coal only the highest grade of coal is anthracite moving on to the distribution of coal so coming to the distribution of coal uh, in the world's coal the highest coal is carboniferous age coal it is of 350 million years old okay it is of best quality coal in india we have this type of coal at two places and it it is categorized in uh, two divisions that is gondwana coal and tertiary coal gondwana coal is 250 million years old and tertiary coal is of uh, newer ones that is a uh, 50 to 60 million years old so first we shall deal with gondwana coal then we shall deal with the tertiary coal the coming to gondwana coal gondwana coal makes up up to 98 percentage of total reserves and 99 percentage of total coal in india so that means the higher production and highest reserves is of Gondwana coal only compared to tertiary coal in India and Satpura's denundation that is involving weathering that means breaking of rocks and erosion has exposed coal bearing Gondwana region okay or else it would have been difficult to expose this Gondwana coal or to see this Gondwana coal and Damuda series uh, which is of lower Gondwana possesses the best working coal fields in India okay and anthracite is generally not found in uh, the gondwana coal fields and gondwana coal is free from moisture but it contains sulfur and phosphorus it is free from moisture and doesn't contain anthracite and distribution of gondwana coal in india we have at gondwana coals in the peninsular plateau you know right peninsula means land covered by water on three sides we, the south india is the, particularly the peninsular india and first coal mine was opened in 1774 at rani ganj rani ganj is a very famous coal field in west bengal it is very famous for gondwana coal in west bengal and india is now the third produ largest producer of coal in india after china and usa of gondwana coal coming to jharkhand where it has highest coal reserves in india and it is very famous are Jaria, Bokaro, Girid, Karanpur, Ramgar and Hutar are the very famous coal fields in Jharkhand. And regarding Odisha, it has uh, second uh, highest coal reserves. Famous coal fields are Talcher coal, coal reserves. And next coming to Chhattisgarh, we have third highest coal reserves in Chhattisgarh and first in coal production. Famous coal fields are Korba and Umaria. This keeps on changing between Odisha, uh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. So don't worry about which is the first one. Just know about the mines, where they are located particularly. Coming to tertiary coal, it is very a newer one coal. It is of 15 to 16 60s, that is 60 million years old. And it is found in Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Jammu and Kashmir. Coal, this coal, tertiary coal has lower carbon content the high percentage of moisture okay because it is newer one it is undergoing metamorphosis right and sulfur and in india tertiary coal is available in assam in the fields of makum nazira 
Mikri Hills, etc. And in Meghalaya, it is found in Garo Kasi and Jaintia Hills. And famous coal fields in Meghalaya are Darinagiri, Siju, Chirapunji, and Langrin, etc. And in Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, also we have in at Hima. At Himachal Pradesh in Shamba district, we have this tertiary coal, and in Jammu and Kashmir, we have at Kalakot and south of Pirpanjal, we have this tertiary coal. Tertiary coal is of newer age, so it has higher moisture content in it. And coming to world scenario, which is the highest producer of coal in the world, it is China, next is USA, and next is India. Slowly, we have to reduce this coal usage because it is causing damage to the environment. So damage to the environment means damage to the living organisms. We have to give a sustainable environment to our future. Okay. So on this note, I'll conclude this topic. We shall meet in the next topic. Thank you.